This is the same putter, or is it? So I've got two battle ready putters here from PXG. They're both the closer model of putter. I've got one with a double bend neck here and I've got one with a straight neck. So the straight neck goes straight into here with a slight kink and it gives me a different balance. When I hang this in my fingertips, I've got the toe being slightly heavier and it just hangs down. When I hang the double bend one in my fingertips, the face goes straight up and that affects how you putt. I've got these putters in the same length and the same grip and I'm just going to use the Biomech putting system just to compare them to see if that balance of putter changes what I do through the ball. My putter is a Cleveland but it's, it's really toe heavy so that weight is all in that toe end of the club so I'm going to start with the straight shafted toe heavy closer because I'm going to be a bit more familiar with it. So this is the Biomech putting app and it gives me a score based on what I do through the ball with my putting stroke combined with this putter. Is there going to be a difference between the two what do you think so i'm going to come away from here i'm going to start a new session main thing i'm looking at is the score that pops up on here everything else is just stuff for me to look at and it might be something that i need to change but that is the overall thing that i'm looking at while comparing these putters so i'm only going to hit three putts with each one i'm lining the ball up because that's what i do on the golf course now these are lovely putters we've got a lovely thick white line here and we've got a nice wide blade compared to your normal sort of ant style putter so that extra width gives us more mass in the head nice long line there to visually aim at the hole we've got some really good technology in the club face here where we've got a finer pyramid system here and a wider pyramid system here when you hit the ball away from the center it releases the ball in a very similar fashion so your distance control is much more manageable and also it looks really cool so I find that really easy to line that white line up with the line on the golf ball that's really quite inviting that was a horrible stroke you might see ah so not as bad as i thought i thought i looped around a little bit but it was actually quite straight 94 ultimately i want to make sure that i'm holding putts with the putter as well so i'm also keeping in mind on that because the biomech putt doesn't know whether i've hold it because it doesn't know what my target was apart from the length that was straight in the middle balance on this is lovely i've got a bigger grip on both putters because it just keeps the hands a little bit quieter now truth be told i have had a fitting where we swapped some grips around with the thinner grip that person putted better simply because he could feel the things that he needed to feel to change his putting to make it better with a thicker grip he couldn't feel the release he couldn't feel him how he was getting through the ball so it's not correct for everyone how many is that? One, two, three. Cool. Average score, 93. That is very tidy. Face not changing too much. Backstroke, 7.4. Acceleration, lovely. Timing ratio, one to one. Very consistent with most putters that I use. So score of 93 to beat. Let's go out of here, start a new session. So this comes off of here and go onto the double bend version, which gives us face balanced performance. Now, one thing you need with putting is confidence. Now, I like that line on the top of the putter again it helps me line up with the golf ball very nicely and that's on the right side of the cut and it feels very different so i feel like i'm going to miss putts to the right 93 to beat oh i didn't start the session let's do three i feel like it's harder for me to release the head it's harder for me to shut the face and easier for me to keep it square all the way but i naturally aim to the right so if i keep that square all the way i'm going to leave it to the right hand side Apart from that one, that one's straight. Little twizzle, little twirl. In the middle. One, two, no. Okay, three putts. Is there a difference for me with the face balanced compared to the other one? So 93 to beat, that was a practice stroke. I just need to delete and that first one. Oh, we've got four there anyway. 91, I've got a feeling that first one I didn't do properly. So looking at the averages of these, the average is there, 93. So I've got exactly the same score with both putters. There's no difference for me from that range. When it goes to that, I would go 100% by feel. If I now go to the PXG Battle Red, Bat 
attack. I've got a lot more help here in terms of off-center hits. If I hit it off the heel, the face could twist. If I hit it off the toe, the toe could twist. All this extra weight here, all this extra weight here reduces that twisting, which is more prominent from further away from the hole, but we've got the same face technology. That visual on the top there, I've got that nice thick white line, and it's gonna look nice and inviting sitting behind the ball. Again, I've got that bigger grip. I'm keeping that nice and consistent. Does something with a bigger head suit me? Do I get a massively better score, or can I stick to my smaller heads that I prefer the look of? Screw, screw, screw. It doesn't take long to swap these rounds. Okay, that's very different at address. Nice. That rolled very nicely. Trying to keep my approach on these ones the same as I do on the course. I think that went a bit harder. So what did I get? I got 82. Yep. Okay, 91, 95, um, practice stroke that didn't mean to pick up, get rid of that, 96, <laughs> okay. So I was on a 93 average, I believe. I've hit three parts there, I've had 96, 96, 95, 91. Much better scores. I'm getting more scores from there. I have to say I prefer the feel and the look of the closer myself. However, could I get over that due to that score being that much better, that much better and more consistent? I think I could actually be persuaded, having seen those numbers, to consider something bigger like this that I don't maybe have as much confidence with. But the score gets you thinking. Jump yourself onto another video. I'm going to have a look at how to grip the club and whether my score changes based on how I hold the club. If I have my hand further down, my hand closer together, left hand low, all those sort of different things that you can do. Does it change the score or is it down to me as a putter? See you next time.